What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we got a pretty cool video. We're gonna be installing uh, an axe mount similar to how we get that shovel mount set up. Just we're gonna be doing that on the other side of the bed. So I uh, had posted uh, this up on Instagram. I had a couple people ask me about it. And this is kind of what the brackets look like and how I put them in the bed. As you can see here, they're pretty uh, like factory. They actually use these factory little black plugs here. Sorry for the glare there. But they actually use those factory black plugs. So I'm gonna show you how I made them quick so uh, you guys can make them yourself. All right, so what you guys are gonna need is you're going to need these little black rubber like grips for mounting stuff, whatever. And then you're gonna need a bolt that goes through both of those, uh, an L bracket, and then a bracket or a bolt that'll go through these washers right here. That's the sizing I got. And then you're going to put those in here. Uh, and the size of this washer is actually kind of important because you'll notice that when I put this in here, these washers are just big enough that they uh, will slide in. Like you kind of put them on one side and they slide in. But they're big enough that they, when you center them, it like holds it tight and it uh, like won't like won't fall out. So as you can see, I have uh, this bracket made, and all I did was I drilled the hole right there in the middle, so that this sits right flush and center like that. And then I cut the top of it off because, as you can see, this is the full size bracket. It's uh, significantly longer. And the reason why you have to cut these off is because there's this lip here above and below the thing. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, there you go. And you need to cut, uh, make sure you cut, a, like, give yourself room to cut away from that. That way you don't end up having uh, uh, problems with it not sitting flush and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this other one in the vise and cut off the same length. So let's get to that. Make sure you set you guys down here since it wants to vibrate the truck so much. There it is, so I got the brackets cut, so I'm going to go ahead and peel the sticker off of both of them and then I'm going to throw some paint on them quick before I put them in. Alright, so I went ahead and filed the ends off quick too, just so there's nice and smooth and you don't scratch yourself or anything like that. So, let's get to painting. Alrighty guys, so we'll let those dry a little bit, I'll flip them over and throw a little extra coat on it, and then we'll get back to mounting them. Alrighty, so while this stuff is drying, uh, we'll get to working on these plastic things. So what you're going to come do here is, uh, there's a little pinhole in it. While it's in the truck and it's holding it for you, I'm just going to go ahead and drill both of them out right now. So I'm going to go grab my drill. Just when you draw that out, grab your bolt, make sure it fits. Okay, I gotta draw it out just a touch more. And 
honestly, if it's a little tight, that's fine because it actually helps with the installation process. When you go to put the bolt in, it, it holds it there and it actually makes it a little bit easier to install. It's not gonna pull that out. And then what you have to do now is uh, you have to cut. Sorry, let me do this side here. You have to cut this plastic stuff out around the outside. That way the washer will sit flat against here and it won't be offset all the way out here. What I'm cutting this off is I'm just sticking it in the vise here like this. And then I'm just gonna take the saws out here and then they just go down the side of it. Oops. See, it's a little tricky. Uh, like a little handsaw or hacksaw would probably be better but this will work. Let me just flip that over. And there we go. What you'll notice here with these washers is that they, uh, the bolt does not quite fit through, so you will have to step these out a little bit. So I'm just gonna take my stepper bit over here, kind of just come in here like that and just kind of step that out to the next size there. Forgot to mention this earlier too, but you will need to step out the holes on the end of this bracket too, because uh, the bolt's also a little too big for these holes as well. Here's how we're gonna get this done. First thing you're gonna do just grab your bolt in your washer and you're going to stick your bolt in your washer and you're going to put it in here and you'll notice that just barely like that just barely kind of fits through there you're going to kind of get a little bit of an angle just kind of finagle it around a little bit eventually you'll get it but it just it barely fits through just like that and then you slide all over to the one side and you kind of get your finger behind it and then take and put your plastic thing over it like that and keep it turned sideways just like that for now and you take your bracket slide that on and then you get to your nut so then now what you do is you rotate that over to where it should be you kind of tighten your nut a little bit then how you're going to get this tighter is you're going to in my case it's a 9 16 bolt and you're going to come here and grab the tip of the bolt and then sneak your wrench behind it like that and that's going to allow you to tighten For some reason on this one I got a little gummed up thread so it's fighting me a little bit. So I'm just going to keep tightening it. I already got the and then kind of get it aligned where you want it. And you should be able to just kind of hand tighten that bolt like that. Basically you can see the line where the plastic thing used to be. Try to line it up with that as much as you can. So then you're good there. And grab your tip again. Real good and tight. Just, just a smidge like that, that way you're nice and square. Then what you're gonna do is put your bolt through your little rubber thing like so, and then obviously make sure it's facing the correct direction. Slide it on there. So just take your 7 16th wrench and just tighten that down real quick. 
you'll see it bulge a little bit on the sides and that's how you know that it's nice and tight and plus you'll be able to wiggle it around and it won't move too much but and now you've got the mounts in place all right so we got both mounts on now and then you just take your axe It can also be a shovel, kind of like I have on my other side too. So you just pop these open and stick it in there and tighten her down. Alrighty. And now you have a completely mounted axe. So, sweet deal. That's what kind of final product looks like there it looks pretty sweet fits in there nicely and that's kind of why i made it the way i did having it kind of spaced out like that because as you can see i'm getting real close to running out of room down here and just barely clear so that's kind of why i made it come out like that but that should do it pretty simple install so now i got the axe there and the stuff there and it looks pretty sweet uh upcoming video I got that little like ammo box. I'm gonna try to mount somewhere in the bed. Not 100% sure where I'm gonna put it, but I'm gonna try to figure that out. But again, thank you all for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. So it's the next day here and you'll see I went and I picked up a different shovel or not, excuse me, not shovel, an ax. Uh, I picked up a different one because that one double bladed one just like took up a lot of space and it wasn't going to allow me to mount it there and I couldn't turn it around because I really wanted the blade to be up here just because I wanted to have access to this thing here and otherwise the blade would kind of hang down towards that. So I wanted to turn it that way but yeah, got it all mounted up there and it looks good and that'll be the axle we're rolling with.